of too much chutting around and clanging around. But, uh, well, just have to see, really. Uh, I'm hoping there's a fair chance of uh, fish today. There seems to be a lot more activity today. In fact, I was late getting here because I forgot something and went home, and I'm sort of quite glad about that, really. Because since I arrived this time, the fish have been showing everywhere. So it's. Um, Choosing to swim was quite hard, to be fair. Um, but uh, what can we do? Just pick where I think the uh, fish are likely to be and move into. And uh, with any luck, I have. I've changed tactics slightly. Um, I'll sh show you what I'm using later on if it actually does stop raining. But it's basically um, maggots, um, pearl ground bait, ground up boilies. And um, lots of um, catalyst uh, food dip to stick it all together. It looks absolutely brilliant. So hopefully we'll be in business. Just have to wait and see. I'm trying out some new butt grips. It could be a bit leery. So I've got to unclip them before I pick the rod up. But we shall see. Got to test these things out and get used to using them before night time comes and fishing on the airfield lake and on meadow lake as the winter progresses I feel a little bit safer using them but uh, i need to get to grips with you know the confident of using them on autopilot when it comes to the night and things like that so we shall, uh, we shall see anyway i'm going to turn this off now because uh, rain is getting heavier again i'm trying to shuffle back a little bit more against the fence, do what I can, best I can, and uh, yeah, hopefully, get a fish, do me. Well, we've moved to the second swim now, a lot of fish just crashing out, just right in front of these pads, so I've just got to, got to, got to give it a go really, I was going to go up by the island, because they've been crashing there, but just as I was sort of coming up to this swim, another one crashed out here so it's just just telling me really I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go from here I might spend about an hour here and then I might go and spend the last uh, bit of time in the back of the island where I spotted a nice fish the other day get a little bit of bait out there and just sit on it for three hours I s sometimes I wonder whether you're sort of like chasing your tail around this place don't know I've sat still before on taken until two o'clock to catch a fish and then I've moved before and I've sort of caught a fish you know more or less every hour and just moved when I caught a fish so it can be funny but that was through winter not quite enough I fished it this earlier on in the season before but we shall uh, we'll give it a go it's a lovely day out there isn't it the autumn colours a lot of leaves drifting by earlier on the sun's starting to sort of come out a little bit more now so it's quite nice I've dry everything off hopefully that was wet earlier on so just see how we get on really ah, it looks beautiful doesn't it absolutely beautiful but I'm starting to get too hot actually which is ironic because all I've got is my um, Grizzly Man Gorka suit top on and uh, thin t-shirt underneath and I'm roasting well there we go alright well what I might do is I might give it 45 minutes an hour in this swim maybe 45 and see what the time is and then maybe try and do 45 another an hour and another and then get to that uh, where I want to get to for the end of the day really don't know I'll just have to have to see really I was going to wander around and flick some bait out but I think I'll leave it as, as I'm doing this have to see really alright let's uh, fingers crossed then Well, it's 12 o'clock, just after. I thought I'm going to move to the final swim. I was quite put off by what had happened before. Spooking the fish and I think I want to get here. Put a bit of bait out. Get the rods on the spots. And I'm making a little bit of noise then. And once that's done, I'll just settle down. Be quiet for the last few hours. And hopefully, catch a carp. Just have to see. Not more for the fun. Want to try today? Just 
Just have to hope and pray and see how we get on, really. There we go. Fingers crossed, I tell you. Well, rods on the floor the last few minutes. Had a couple of liners. It's clearly fish out there. But uh, not as not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. There we go. Amazing it, really. Right then, I'm going to come back in a couple of weeks' time. Maybe a bit longer, actually. Um, with a little bit more different tactics, I feel. Because uh, something's clearly... That was clearly changed since I was here before, last year. Maybe the baits, the colours that have blown that people were catching on. Don't know, really. But I had a few liners, fish moving around. It's not picking these hook baits up. So, change different hook baits, change different tactics. You never stand still, you just got to keep moving, going on, keep on trying, see what you can do. Right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I shall catch up with you soon. And uh, see what the next trip brings.